Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name is Jeff Ferris. Welcome to our new studio, state-of-the-art facility we put together so that we can do better videos for you. And today, that video is gonna be about Woodpecker's new mortise match. We're gonna take a closer look at the tool, how to set it up, and why you want one in your shop if you own a domino. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna show you is just how simple it is to attach your domino to the mortise match. All we have here is a cap screw right here that keeps the carriage in place. Loosen these two knobs, and then the carriage just slides right off. So we're gonna pop the motor loose, and now all we have to work with is the domino base. So we're gonna put that on here, and now when I turn it over, you can see that the two holes in the base of the domino line up with holes in the carriage. And that will perfectly center that. Now we'll drop that on the columns in the base, clamp it up, and reinstall the safety stop. So I have some material here and let's take a look and see what we have for thickness. Now we're gonna check this in millimeters. It's just a little over 19 millimeters and we want the mortise relatively close to the center of that. So what we wanna do is set the fence to half the thickness of our material. So we're going to set this to something close to nine and a half millimeters. Now we're gonna lock the fence unlock the mortise match, put the material on the table, and push down on the columns until the fence touches the material. Then we'll lock it, and now we should be very close to the center of our 19 millimeter material. Now let me show you how the protractor fence works, how we install that, set it up, and use it to mirror match our joint. We're gonna take our protractor fence and drop that on here. The protractor adjusts anywhere between 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Now for most of us, this is where it's gonna be most of the time. The magic sauce here is this adjustment right here. This little pin comes up against the paddles of the domino. And that's how we're gonna get perfect spacing on our joints. So the first thing we wanna do is take our material and put it on here, and we're not gonna be real concerned about getting that centered, but we're just gonna eyeball that in. Now I'm gonna bring the protractor fence against my material, make sure that it's also against my back fence, and clamp it up. And the final step is to take the indexing flap and bring it down against the flap of the domino. And while we're holding it in place, I'm gonna lock it up. Now we're ready to cut our first mortise. So now for the piece that's going to join this, we need to go to the other side. So I'm going to take the protractor fence, unlock it, flip it over, drop it in, and then once again, bring the steel pin up against the flap on the domino, and then clamp the protractor fence in place. Bring in the clamp from this side this time. Now we'll bring that in place. And we're ready for our second mortise.
perfectly flush faces and our end is perfectly flush too. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching this episode of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. If you enjoyed what you saw today, please be sure to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. And if you would like more information about Mortis Match, there's a link right here that'll take you to the product video on Mortis Match and another link down in the description that'll take you to the sales page. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.